Hey guys, it's your girl Soulfine. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are not, you already know what it is. Let's get into this video. So I was going through my videos and I sort of have so many new subscribers and I was like, you know what? I need to do an updated frequently asked questions kind of video because I've been getting a lot of questions underneath my videos. Um, a lot of my DMs as well on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at um, Soulfine, three E's, three underscores, and it'll be right there for you. Um, but yeah, so I was like, you know what, let me take down my hair and while I'm taking down my hair, let me give you guys answers to some of these questions that I've been getting a lot. So if you're interested in what, seeing what those questions are and my answers to those questions, please keep on watching. All right, so before we get into this video, let me give you a little backstory on these locks. Let me zoom in just a little bit boom so my hair has been hairing okay these have been in my hair for about three weeks and this was my birthday hair so this was my birthday hair i styled i washed and retwisted and did all of this by myself i do my hair myself nobody else does my hair for me that's just the first thing so yeah this is what my hair is looking like it's not too too bad i can turn and show you guys but um yeah, it's been about three weeks. I'm going to take this out so I can have a nice little curly hairstyle. All right, so when starting, I'm going to start with getting a little rubber band and just put my hair up in a ponytail. All right, so now that my hair is up in a ponytail, I have a mirror down here so I can actually look at myself as I speak, as well as some notes on my phone. So if you guys see me looking down and not really at you guys, it's nothing personal. I'm just trying to make sure I'm doing it right and I'm making sure that I'm answering all the questions on point for you guys, okay? Okay. In addition, I'm also gonna need a pair of scissors. If you are using scissors, please be careful. Make sure they are sharp enough and that they are able to get the job done because I have rubber bands at the end of my locks. So this is how I'm going to take them off. I have nails and I don't feel like tugging and pulling to break a nail off. So yeah, we're gonna use the scissors. All right, so let's start with the easy question. How many locks do I have? So, backstory just no backstory to begin everything all together um i started my locks in 2019 yes october 2019 so this year will make me five years since being locked so that answers the first question of how long have i been locked so currently four years but october will make five years all right i think this looks a little bit better i had i switched up my chair and put a different chair so that you guys can see the contrast because when my chair was all black, you guys couldn't see the difference between my hair and this is why I'm wearing a white shirt. So you guys can actually see my curls, my length and everything as I'm going about and doing my hair. So, as I was saying, so I've been locked since 2019. This year will make five years since I have been locked. Um, I counted my locks and I have a total of 80 locks. I don't know if that, I mean, it does matter. So you're having an even amount of locks. It's a lot easier for doing styles like this because you do need two strands to do it. So that actually worked out perfectly. I didn't tell her I wanted specifically 80. I just told her I wanted medium size and she gave me 80. I don't even know if she counted. I don't know. I just told her I wanted locks and I wanted it to be medium size. And this is what she gave me. Um, I preached this in all my videos as many videos as possible i retwist every eight weeks every eight weeks i wash and retwist my hair um this past retwist lasted actually four months i know i know i know i know and i also explained why it lasted four months because i was also taking swimming lessons and it was just a lot on my hair with the chlorine and stuff so i was like you know what let me just prolong it until i finish my swimming lessons get what I need done, and then I can relax and be able to worry about my hair afterwards. And that's what I did. I can tell y'all, four weeks is, I said four weeks, four months, it's a little hard. Like I almost thought like maybe my locks was gonna start combining and stuff, like free form, like semi free form. And mm, I don't think I want that. But anyway, I managed by doing different styles, like braiding my hair, doing different, um series i did a series with 30 day hairstyles because i was trying to get creative about different kind of hairstyles i can do with my hair as i'm stretching and going on without my retwist 
and it was pretty fun um that is also on my instagram if you guys want are interested i also have the video i've made a compilation on my youtube and i'll also insert i'll put it on the cards for you guys to see it but otherwise yeah it was really fun it was very different for me because i like i said i only go two months and that's my max so being able to go four months was a little bit of a challenge but we did it next is what products do i use to retwist so for products i i'm not a product junkie i do not use a lot of products i only use literally three things in my hair is that including shampoo including shampoo so i use no not including shampoo so i use water of course water um vitamin e oil um i use haitian castor oil and the shampoo that i use is the melanin um african i'll put the i'll put the bottle right here so you guys can see this is what i use for my hair when i'm washing my hair my shampoo i don't use any conditioner so um, um yeah those are the only products i use in my hair i don't use anything else that's pretty much it like i've never really been one to use gels and um gels souffles beeswax like things like that in my hair because i just feel like it's gonna give me product buildup despite even just using castor oil as well because it's so thick can still pro um, produce product buildup I don't want it to get any worse so the only thing about that is I've never done um, a lock detox so maybe I'm thinking maybe this year I should do one maybe I'll do one every five years and make that like a habit since I am coming up for five years um, maybe I might find somebody to do that for me like I said I do my hair myself so I don't know how to go about doing that but as my hair is getting longer, it is getting a lot harder for me to maintain. So I am low-key thinking about outsourcing and finding somebody that I can trust to do my hair. Because that's the main thing as to why I started learning how to do my hair myself. Because I can't trust people. When I was relaxed, I was going to the Dominicans. I was going to like, and I was just like, mm -mm. I, I couldn't, I couldn't. Like they would damage my hair and my hair was long. Let me insert a picture of what my hair looked like when it, was, when it was relaxed. Because my hair was long. It was given bundles. Like when it was nice and straight and blew out. Um, I, I, I couldn't. Which was funny because the same girl that I trusted to relax my hair after I went through the whole thing of my hair breaking. Is the same girl that locked me. <laughs> like it literally went full circle. Like honestly, like I went from using all the crack the creamy crack in my hair and then to just being a whole naturalist i just started growing my hair out she stopped seeing me and then i came back one day i texted her i said i want to do locks she said really i was like yeah she was like, well, she was like what made you think like what made you do that because i was literally she's a natural hairstylist but the only person she would put a relaxer in is my hair she never trusted and put a relaxer in anybody else's hair because she didn't want them to be like you're the one that broke my hair. Yeah, no, she was on da 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 with. You know when you have a relaxer, like it's 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 a it's the real deal. Like it's gonna, you gotta, you gotta maintain and take care of it. If you don't, it will break easily. And that's one thing that she was like, I'm not with it. How long is my hair? So this is not gonna be the right time for me to show you guys the actual length of my hair because it's actually gonna be a little curly. So I do have a video that I can link in the cards. That will show you guys of me measuring different parts of my hair because I wanted to see like how long was my hair and I did it like a measure hair with me so we all got measuring tapes and we just measured our hair together so that's a video that I can link for you guys if you guys want to see the actual full length of my hair I also have a couple of reels on Instagram like I said like if you're not following me on Instagram I also post a lot of content there as well so I'm trying to balance out doing TikTok too but doing three platforms, it's already bad enough that I'm doing two and I'm struggling for me to add another one. And I know TikTok is popping. I don't know, man, because TikTok be TikTok is really good. But I don't want to be posting the same um content that I'm posting on Instagram and I'm posting on YouTube. I mean I can, I mean not YouTube, post it on um TikTok. I mean I can, but I just want it to be like authentic, so it's not gonna be like the same thing, even though I do have different audiences. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. Um, if you guys do are more consistent on TikTok, please comment that down below so I can post whatever I'm posting on Instagram onto TikTok and that way you guys can see it as well. Dang, hurry up and pass by. I started my hair with comb coils. I know they say that you can start your hair with braids, you can start your hair with two strand twists, you can instant lock your hair with crochet. I started with the good old coils and unfortunately she did use gel to start it 
and that is why at some of my ends it's a lot that's where i see a lot of my product build up because i did use gel that first month with it in and after that i was like mm, no more gel and i went back and i went straight to my oils so that's the main reason why i from early on i already saw like the whiteness in my hair and i didn't like when i was retwisting my hair and i was like yeah no more gel for me but i did start with comb coils have i ever dyed my hair the answer is no no will i ever dye my hair i will die i would dye it but if i do dye it, it would have to be like a henna dye not like one of those bleaching things where like you're stripping my hair of all the protein and stuff like i'm not I'm not with it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to dash my hair. I don't want any breaking, any weakness, any weak points in my hair. So I'm going to avoid doing any of the harsh dyes into my hair as long as possible. Have I combined any locks? No. I started with 80 and I still got 80. Um, I feel like my locks are appropriate, uh, appropriate, uh, an appropriate size that I don't have to combine them. Like I don't want them to be too big and I didn't want them to be too small. Which is why when I did it, I told her I wanted medium. And medium is what I got. I feel like this is medium. It's not too small. It's not too big. So this is a decent size for me. So I didn't want to combine anything at all. Um, okay, this question I answered already. It was about the how often do I wash. I wash and retwist my hair every two months. Um, for some people, they think that's a lot of time. Two months of not washing your hair. Um, I think it's a decent amount of time. I don't wash my hair as often because like I said, I'm a minimalist. I don't want to do too much with my hair. So I wash my hair every two months and I retwist my hair every two months. And I do go to the gym. I do like I'm very active, but I don't sweat a lot in my hair. So actually like having a lot of water in my hair or mold and stuff like that is not possible in my hair because I don't really sweat in my hair. And when I do go to the gym, I often tie my hair down. So it's not like it's out and exposed and everything. So yeah i feel like two months is fine for me some people's every two weeks some people's every month or so two months work for me if that works for you then that's fine but you can wash your hair however often that you want and however often that you feel like you need because i know some people have scalp conditions there's seborrheic dermatitis there's a whole bunch of different conditions and dandruff and all of that stuff so if you need to wash your hair a little bit more often you can do so but as for me i wash my hair every two months do i use conditioner the answer to that is no as i mentioned i only use shampoo i use the melanin shampoo and i believe the purpose of conditioner is specifically for like decreasing detangles like you know like when you were loose natural like when you were um needing to like detangle your hair use conditioner leave-in conditioner all of that to detangle the strands make it nice and manageable versus when you're locked you want to do the opposite you want your hair to entangle you want your hair to get locked because that's what's going to make your hair lock faster stay locked and mature faster as well so conditioner i do not use conditioner in my hair at all i just use shampoo and i feel like it washes my hair sufficiently enough just with shampoo if i need extra moisture i use my oils and i use my water as for moisture to retain to bring back the moisture into my hair but no conditioner for me how often do I moisturize? Oh, I forgot to show you guys this little barrel here. Let me show you guys my little barrel. It looks crazy right now because my hair is all grown in and stuff. This is all my new growth. But yeah, this is what it was. And I took out the sides. And then I'm about to take this out. Let me see if I can take all of it out right now. Actually, no, I still have a two strand twist that is holding it together. And that's what I did to hold it together. Like I barreled it and then I retwisted it together so it would stay summertime i would say i moisturize about once a week um it is summertime so my hair is hot you sweat like it's just a regular like you don't need to do too much um but if you are going to be in the sun a lot yes if you're going to be in the sun a lot moisturize your hair at least twice a week but yeah i'm, I'm going to be working i'm indoors i'm not going out too much in the summertime so i go at least once a week in the winter time because i live in new york city and it is brick over here i moisturize twice a week so I'll, that would consist of me using my vitamin E oil and then my water, my vitamin E oil in my water bottle. And then I moisturize with my oil, my cast oil in my scalp. And I even run along my locks strands sometimes just so I can have that little nice little shine. But otherwise, yeah, I just moisturize once a week in the summertime, twice a week in the winter time. I love how my curls are coming out how do i deal with frizz um honestly 
you gonna always have to manage and deal with your frizz like there's no cure to frizz because you have locks and you're gonna always have to deal with it but one way that i manage my frizz is by keeping my hair tied down so i would spray some water in my hair and tie my hair down and it will tame it for a while like if you're in the summertime and it's humid yeah baby girl it's not gonna work for long but um if you're trying to go for a little cute little photo op take some pictures i would say tie your hair down and then when you're ready for all of that then you take it out and that's it but frizz is inevitable you're always gonna deal with frizz you can manage it but it's not it's not a cure like people doing that shaving or cutting off the little excess on their locks stuff, don't do it all it le leads to is breakage and weakness weak spots in your locks just deal with it honestly if you wanted to lock your hair frizz is gonna come with it if somebody told you i'm telling you now when you lock your hair you gonna have to do a frizz there's no way around it at all is your hair all the same length no i have natural layers in my hair so the back of my hair grows longer than the front of my hair and that's just always how it's been it's been like that when i was relaxed it's been like that when i was natural like it's always been like that and I don't mind it because I liked when I was relaxed and I had like my hair, I would get like a nice little trim. You would see the layers in my hair and I love that. With my locks, you can see it a little bit when I have my middle part. You can see like the front of my hair and it just comes down. Like it just comes like a little slant. But yeah, I love that I have the natural layers. I don't cut my hair for the layers. It just naturally grows that way. And yeah, it was just, that's just how my hair is. All right, so we are nearing the end. This is what my hair looks like right now. All oh, this lusciousness. I have this much left for me to untwist. I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. Are all my locks the same size? No. Some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner, some of them are lumpier, some of them are slimmer. Like there is, I have a whole bunch of different kind of locks in my hair. None of them are uniform. And I mean, honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't expect all my locks to be the same. And I feel like they're just like people. Everybody is different. Everybody has their own personality. Everybody has their own characteristics. And so does my locks. So my locks will not have the same characteristics as your locks, as the way that your look, the color, size, texture, curl pattern. Like everybody's lock is different. So I don't expect all my locks in itself to be in uniform to be all the same so honestly no and it doesn't bother me that some are shorter that some are longer that some are thicker that some are thinner like honestly it is what it is and i don't mind it i love my locks the way they are and yeah that's honestly i don't it's not a stress something i should be stressing you out about oh they're not all the same or whatever like honestly it's hair your body is unproportionate like literally one side of your body is stronger than the other so it's life it's just hair all right, so I finished everything and I saved the last one for the last question that I have. So the last question is, how long do I plan on keeping my locks? Truth be told, I feel like I'm going to be keeping my locks forever. Like, I don't see myself cutting my hair, combing them out, doing anything with them. I love my locks. I love how they are. I love how they work. They're part of my hairstyle. They're part of my life now. They're part of me. They're part of So Fine. So yeah, these locks I'm getting rid of. I'm not getting rid of them anytime soon. I love them. I feel confident with them. Like literally, like my locks, like I said, is a part of me. It's a part of Sophony. It's a part of So Fine. And yeah, honestly, these locks will with me until I feel like I need to take a break. I mean, I do hear a lot of people complain about um, as your hair gets longer, it gets heavier, it gets thicker, and it's harder to manage. Um, I'm, I'm getting to the harder to manage part because when I'm washing my hair, it's taking me a lot longer. But as for like weight wise, like if it's heavy on my neck and on my back, I don't feel that right now. Um, if it does get to that point, maybe I will have to trim it. But as for right now, I can confidently say like, I ain't cutting these locks. Is it weird that I'm waiting for like, I'm excited for when I get a lot older and I get my grays. Like, I want my hair to be, like, completely gray and full of locks. I think it's so beautiful. So, yeah, like, I don't, mm -mm. I'm waiting for all my grays to come in so that I can have my little salt and pepper when I get older. Like, I, I'm excited. I'm so excited. But, yeah, this is how my hair came out. We love it. I'm most likely, I'm going to leave it as a side part right now. But 
I love me a middle bust down part. So when I get bored of this, I'm going to get a middle part. I'm going to put my hair in a ponytail. I'm going to love it. But yeah, this is the end of the video. This is what my hair looks like. Let me show you guys the back. This is what the back looks like. Nice and full and curly. Love. Love my hair. Love, love, love. So if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to comment them down below. Once again, like I said, follow me on Instagram because that's where all my other content is on. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and thank you guys for all the new subscribers. Please continue, if you're new, to like, subscribe, comment anything that I have said, any thoughts, any questions, and I will be sure to answer you down below. As always, stay cute and stay fine. And I will see you guys in my next video.